Early birds, early birds, early birds, early birds. Good morning. Peace and grace to each of you. Uh, This Wednesday morning, month of April, praise God from whom every blessing flows. The blessings of the Lord come to us as we inhale and exhale breath and as we open our eyes and as we move about today and experience uh, the provision and presence of the Lord, particularly in the word of God, it comes to us out of Luke 15, Numbers, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Judges uh, 13 through 15, uh, depicting the love of God and the faithfulness of God to uh, specifically seek out and love and secure each of us no matter what our situations might be, and especially when we're absent or lost or feeling estranged or alienated or distanced. The Lord is faithful enough to us to come see about us, whether we are a sheep that's gone astray, as in the parable in Luke 15, or like a coin that somehow been displaced and there's a thorough search sweeping the floor turning up furniture pulling up carpet finding that one lost coin if you're like me that's that one thing that's outstanding nags nags at your mind like ah gotta get this done gotta get to this some kind of way and think of how Frustrating it is when you can't find that one thing you're looking for, the special thing you want. You're trying to get dressed, and there's that special um, piece of apparel, uh, belt, accessory, something. And man, you're looking all over for it, and you don't won't be happy until you find it, because it goes directly with whatever it is you're wearing. Now magnify that an endless number of times, and, and consider that that's how much God loves you and things would just not be right without you you specifically you i know sometimes you may feel like you're just one in a million of a sea of others but you are exactly that a unique one within the million within the collective you are special and god loves you just for who you are i want you to be encouraged today Uh, That even in perdition, as we see in Numbers 13 through 15, God is faithful. The judges represents a cycle of (sighs) falling in and falling out of love with the Lord uh, from a human standpoint. But from God's standpoint, God is constantly pursuing, loving us in spite of ourselves and this is definitely the case in numbers 13 through 15 you know the story of samson and how his parents were given special instructions uh, about his birth and his early childhood he was set up for success but his choices were very poor and yet the lord endured loved him in spite of and loves us in spite of and hears us, is with us, sees us, suffers often. I, I, if there was ever a, a way God suffers, I, I, if you have a heart, you have, your heart ever goes out for a child or a loved one who you see is uh, doing self-destructive things or in self-destructive relationships, you know what it's like to yearn that they would make a different decision. And yet, you have to let them find their way. But there's our God not only allows us to figure it out, but also seeks us in the process as well. These are times in which these passages uh, mirror God's amazing love, amazing grace, amazing patience and persistence in pursuing relationship with us as we discern relationship with the Lord. Blessings to you, and I pray that in some way or another, as you read these passages, you'll find encouragement and support. Please like and share so that others 
uh, may be ministered to as well. Because somebody may need to know that while they may feel lost, they are not forsaken. And they're not displaced, but that the Lord sees everywhere, sees all of us everywhere. And we're not so despondent or down that God can't pick us up. Blessings and grace to each of you, my family. And I pray that the Lord bless you, early birds, as you experience the power and the joy of God's words today. Thank you for listening. Peace and blessings.